on my Kusk, as you can see, and I went to the main last night, April 28th. I'm uploading this on May 1st. May 1st. <laughs> May 1st. So, um, I'm leaving that in there. I don't, I don't, I don't give two shits. More ironic than Pink Comic Sans. On the main at the Royale with the Mowgli's and beach weather and beach weather was really energetic. The Mowgli's had this positive vibe to them. You know I was vibing out there. I don't have any footage unless if you want to check my snapchat which is in my me.com. Um, I'm, I'm only leaving my snapchat there because um, you know I kind of don't want to advertise my snapchat. I got asked a really weird question on Snapchat. Some people weird me out on Snapchat. Um, speaking of the main, quoting John from the main's Warp Tour stream last year, I don't send nudes. <laughs> like that, that was just like such a good, oh, that was such a good quote. I don't know, someone asked about Snapchat or something. It's like, I don't send nudes. <laughs> and I'm like, beautiful and I think he told everyone to not send nudes like I don't even know man the main are good live okay they had a legit set um they, they didn't take long to get set up too and you know they their set involved like grass and you know these light up palm trees and these like weird light flower things and yeah it was beautiful and it was just like what am I looking at but yeah, they were a good live, and they and you know John was funny. He um, kissed his friend. He um, told people how to cross the street, and told people not get hit by trucks. And yeah, he he just like makes the best jokes on stage. I'm not even lying. I had to sit out for most of their set because I was getting an allergic reaction when I was in the crowd, so I did have to just to sit back. But when I heard the music from in afar, I was well from in afar. Well from afar. Can't talk. I need my coffee. But you know, from afar you like still heard the music and I was like, this is pretty lit still. So I did have a good time and all the bands were great. So yeah. The only thing that I'm like kind of sad about is that, um, what's it? Basically, the main did not have a tour edition for Lovely Little Lonely on vinyl. They did not have a tour pressing, so I was pissed. Not really pissed, I was just really sad. I was too sad to be pissed. I was being an emo kid. Like, I was so sad I couldn't get the main on the on vinyl. Yeah, that, that, that sucked. But anyways, that's like really the only thing that did not go great there. I was in the balcony most of the time, and it was just, like, really comfortable up there. And th th there's just, like, I don't even know. The Royale's very fancy. There's, like, chandeliers everywhere. There's, um, couches that aren't ripped, and they're actual couches. And they're, like, red. And there's, like, these weird wooden seats when you walk in that have, like, engravings. And it's just a really fancy place. Like, I'm not even joking. It's in the theater district. It's a nightclub in the theater district of Boston. So I think I, you know, it's something that I should expect. <laughs> and it's it was my third time going. It was just really nice. It wasn't like my last time going, which was intense. You know, I think it was mainly because, like, the atmosphere and who it brought in. Um, I don't really want to get into it because I'm going to get pissed. <laughs> but, yeah, I did not have a good time. I did, like, have an allergic reaction there. If you don't know, like, I'm kind of... I get like allergic reactions to um, like deodorizers like Axe and Tide, Febreze, and also tobacco smoke. So a lot of people were just like chain smoking before they went in the venue. And one dude even started vaping in the venue and being disrespectful. He was being really disrespectful. He like vaped after like a guard told him not to. And then the guard like went back up to him and said, yo, stop it. And it was just like so disrespectful. Like, honestly, not to sound really bougie, but he was, it was just such a trashy move on that part, you know, just keep vaping, like, and there's a chandelier, like, right in front of you, and they're, like, sofas and really fancy engravings, like, dude, do you know where you are? You're not in, like, 
You're not like, I don't know, in the commons seeing Smash Mouth from afar. You know, you're just like in the back chilling, you know. You're not in the pit at Smash Mouth, you're just like, you know, I'm just chilling. Yeah, there was a pit at Smash Mouth, by the way, at, at the Boston Commons. So yeah, you know, he did not know where he was, basically. And I was just like, dude, what are you doing? And yeah, that that was my, la my like, last experience at the Royale. And this experience was so positive, and there was just good vibes everywhere, and, and not weirdos vaping in the crowd. You know everyone's weird, I can call them a weirdo. I'm not saying that in like a really bad way, I call everyone weird. Because people are weird, so you can't really blame me. So yeah, that's a thing, and I, it was really fun. I'm not gonna lie, I was really happy, it was really fun, and I just bops. And I found really fancy bathrooms there too. So I was like, what? Anyways, let's move on to other things. And that's the merch I got. I, I obviously did not get any vinyl because the Mowgli's, I didn't know much about Where'd Your Weekend Go. You know, I just heard what I heard from their set and I liked it. So, yeah, that's a thing. So I did get it on CD and I also got this hat. I liked the Mo like, yeah, well, I liked the Mowgli's when I was, um, 13. Waiting for the Dawn came out. It was like 13, 14 years old. And I enjoyed that album. San Francisco was my jam back then, okay? But yeah, this is a hat. It's like the California bear, but he's wearing sunglasses. And the balloons right there. Like from the Where'd Your Weekend Go um, cover. So yeah, and I got it in pink. Because I'm bougie as fuck. I can say fuck on here. I feel so edgy. Anyways, so like I said... Speaking of the Mowgli's, I did get their album on CD because I did not have 30 bucks to buy it on vinyl and I have so many red vinyl that it's not even funny, like, most of the stuff back there and in that bin is red vinyl. I'm not joking. I wish I was. But anyways, yep, this is the CD. I wonder if it'll focus. Eh, it kind of is. So, yeah, I have it on CD. And I also got a signed drumstick because if you gave them, damn it, truck, what are you doing, fam? I'm trying to film a video, but yeah, if you um like gave them five dollars, they'd donate it to wildlife, and they'd sign a drumstick for you. So, yeah. Um, this is like how it kind of looks like, and they drew ice cream on it, cause, um, well, it, well, I think the drummer did. Pretty sure the drummer signed this, but yeah, the drummer um he I um, he asked me what did he what he should like draw on the drumstick, and I'm like, surprise me. <laughs> so he did, and he drew ice cream for me, which is pretty cool. And I don't know where to put this, but you know what? I'm glad it went to a good cause <laughs> because they did donate to like Ocean Wildlife. I don't know the exact charity because I forgot, but yeah, that's a thing. Also, I'm gonna wear the same exact outfit in like three or four videos, so I'm sorry about that. Anyways, let's move on. I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh yeah, I showed um, the drummer and the merch dude from the Mowgli's the like the picture of Nikki. Well, Nikki Misery. I almost said Nikki Six. Damn, I need my coffee. Um, yeah, the photo of Nikki Misery drawing a death star on my face so because I told them that when he was drawing my drumstick that someone drew the death star on my face so yeah that's a thing um and I think I'm done with this video and I think I'm gonna get my coffee it is hazelnut and it smells good and that's all that matters <laughs> peace out I hope you have a nice day and yeah, you're gonna see more videos of me in this outfit since I'm gonna film shit ton more.